Brought to you by Almon Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Well, no gathering of the Classic Tractor Calendar Club would be complete without the biggest farm tractor of them all, the Big Bud 747. And Robert Williams, you brought it all the way from Montana. How'd you do it? Well, I uh, loaded her up and here it is. Took about three days, so actually three and a half days. Things went quite well. And you don't bring the tractor all in one piece, do you? No, we pulled the wheels and tires off, which weigh about 32,000 pounds, and uh, put the frame on another truck and headed for the Midwest. So here we are. So what made you decide to bring the Big Bud all the way to Illinois? Uh, money. <laughs> no, not, not really. You know, we've had several people, even you yourself, have been out there to Montana to look at it. And we just finally decided that uh, more people need to, to see the tractor and uh, not that they're going to be able to see what it's capable of, but the size is, is the issue out here and they get to compare some of their smaller tractors or these tractors with a big butt. And give us some of those statistics that make people go, wow. This really is a big tractor. What are some of the facts and figures about the Big Bud? Well, I guess the the horsepower rating, it's rated about 1,000 horsepower. Weighs 100,000 pounds. Uh, the eight tires you see on it are the original eight tires. They were built in 77, strictly for the tractor. To replace them, uh, who knows what it would cost to replace them. But I guess the people that come along, the biggest thing, you know, that they say is, you know, that is a pretty darn big tractor. And to see it out in the field, you know, in a distance, it's well proportioned. And until you get something right up beside or you're standing beside, you don't realize how big it is. So. I know it's got a thousand gallon fuel tank. What's been the reaction from the crowd here at the INI &I show? Well, of course, the first thing uh, they ask me is, uh, how could you afford to fill it up, you know, especially every other day? Um, and I, I guess the amount of acres it works, you know, they'll come along and they'll say, well, how much, how many acres will it work? It works uh, acre, 1.3 acres a minute. So, you know, you're looking at seven, eight, nine hundred acres a day and uh, fuel efficiency, even though it has a thousand gallon fuel capacity, it, it really only burns about three quarters of a gallon per acre, which, you know, if you bring that into perspective, that's, that's a little different way of looking at it. So. Well, it looks like the Big Bud is enjoying a little bit of a vacation down here in the sunny, warm weather of Illinois, but really it's still a hardworking tractor for you and your brother back home on the farm in Montana, isn't it? Well, absolutely. You know, you, you were out there uh, early in its, its uh, life uh, out there, it's been working ever since uh, and someone asked well how many of these shows do you go to well since uh, 97 when we brought it home and we restored it it's been out there never let has never left the farm so this is the first uh, it, you know the time it's been away from there since we we started working at 97 so that says a lot and uh, whether or not it goes back right away or what it does, that kind of depends on how many people want to look at it. Robert, are you and your brother Randy amazed at how this awesome tractor has become so famous? T-shirts, models, you're signing hats. Yeah, makes me kind of feel like a celebrity here. Uh, yeah, Randy and I, of course, we've talked about that the whole time. Uh, and yes, we definitely are surprised. You know, we never in a million years dreamt it any of this would, you know, come about. We bought it uh, for cheap horsepower, you know. We went and we wanted to get something that would do a great job for a little, lot less money than what a newer tractor would cost, so. Now, 10 years, a little more than 10 years into owning the Big Bud, what would you say the best thing about this world's largest tractor really is for you guys? Oh, I, you know, it, it sounds kind of corny, but I suppose meeting the people, you know, I mean, it gave us a whole new outlook on, or a whole new look at the, 
dealing with people and being around people and 99% of the people that come to look at it are farmers so we can discuss farming and whether you're in Europe, if you're in Denmark, Sweden, uh, you know, it's all the same in your Midwest and they tell the same story, you know, so it's, it's kind of interesting in that respect, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's a good life, farming is a good life and, and we do enjoy it and hopefully we'll keep up, keep it up for a while. All right, Big Bud tractor owner Robert Williams, thanks for talking with us. Oh, you're welcome, and uh, we'll see you in another 10 years, huh? <laughs> <laughs> the Big Bud 747, the world's largest farm tractor. It's right at home here in central Illinois and drawing big crowds at the gathering of the Classic Tractor Calendar Club.